Hi, this is Joseph Anthony of the Wonder Child Blog. Thank you so much for stopping by again today. And I'd like to talk a little bit about the conscious mind and the subconscious mind. Very heavy subjects. And a lot is made out of this, this idea that it's what goes on in the subconscious mind that matters most. And I'm not necessarily going to debate that today. But a lot of people focus on, if you don't change that subconscious mind, you will never make lasting changes in your life. And I'm here to tell you that there's no such thing as lasting changes. Don't mean to sound fatalistic or depressing, but everything changes. Nothing lasts forever. And if I am after a permanent state of an emotion like peace or tranquility or happiness, I'm up a creek and I'm going to be frustrated. If I am after a permanent set of circumstances, I am also up a creek. <clears throat> so this idea that we can never have permanent or lasting changes unless we know our subconscious paradigms and change them, we're never going to make it. I'm here to suggest to you that, well, it's kind of like this. I used to be very worried about my karmic past when I was way into reincarnation. I would, I would literally worry. You know, I was a teenager sitting in my, in my room worrying about my, my past deeds I did in other lifetimes that I'm somehow suffering for today. I didn't know what those deeds were, and I was never going to consciously know because they were in the past, all these past lives, but somehow I was a victim to them. And it's very similar to that if I think that I can't prosper or grow or change unless I know my subconscious paradigms. I may never consciously know them, know them. However, if I focus on this part, this top conscious part, this little part, and if I focus on the body, if I focus on what I do know, and what I can do physically. The subconscious things that I need to know will reveal themselves. And not only will they reveal themselves, they will reveal themselves transformed and to be of benefit in my life. So, <clears throat> focus on your conscious thoughts. Focus on your physical conscious body. If I develop physical habits that are healthy, my breathing exercises, drinking lots of water, using my doTERRA aromatherapy oils, singing, dancing, doing my EFT tapping, if I do those physical things to help myself change and grow, and I'm constantly working towards helping other people with physical actions and demonstrations of kindness and compassion and helping them fulfill their dreams. And I'm also coupling that with how I think to consciously think positive, healthy, loving thoughts. The subconscious mind will work on itself. Now, it's good to have vision boards. It's good to have, what you know, those dream boards and to subliminal stuff. All that's good. It does work on, on that sub Mediterranean level. However, I'm suggesting to you that if you don't know what your subconscious motivations are and your subconscious paradigms, you're not lost and without hope. Focus on what you do know. Focus on what you can see. Focus on what you can do. What you can do is sow the seeds of kindness. You can sow the seeds of prosperity by giving to others, right? You can encourage other people to change. You can encourage other people by helping them fulfill their dreams. Those are things you can do. You can read positive books. You can listen to positive affirmations and, and CDs and music. And you can take up a physical discipline like learning to dance or, or paint. And if you hear loud noises above me in this video, I'm in my basement workplace and, and, and I, I live with three elephants, I mean boys, and two of whom are teenagers, and they can be very loud, 
and, and sometimes we hear this boom <clears throat> rumbling across. It's just my kids. <clears throat> anyway, that said, back to the topic at hand. If you're worried you don't know what your subconscious paradigms are, then work on your conscious thoughts. If you're even a little frazzled about what your conscious thoughts are, because much of what goes on in our minds and what we think we think about aren't even our thoughts. They're just things that pass through one ear and out the other. If you're worried about that, then do something tangible and physical. Get into a, a body memory. You know, it, it's, it's said that if you, you can develop a new habit in, some scientists say, 22 days. I've read other things that say, no, 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 it's 66. So be safe and do it the rest of your life. <laughs> at least three months, and you'll develop a habit. You'll develop a way of living in your body. Your body's memory will, will help you develop these habits for positive, conscious living. So, my odd doodle <clears throat> of the head and the subconscious mind that so many people focus on and say, if you don't change that, you'll never change your life. Change your conscious thoughts, work on them, change your physical actions, and your subconscious mind, your deeper paradigms, will reveal themselves to you, and they will be transformed. You are not a victim or a prisoner of things you can't see or don't remember. I used to believe I was. Now I believe I'm a prisoner if I choose to make myself one by what I do in this moment, by how I think in this moment. You can be completely free. The door to the sick mind opens from the inside. Same with the prison. So unlock your wonderfulness <laughs> that you are. Unlock it from the inside by changing how you physically live and how you consciously think. And I'm just repeating myself now, so I'm going to stop. Joseph Anthony of the Wonder Child Blog, signing off for now. Thanks again for watching.